Yo, what is going on guys? Today, Season 5 is finally upon us. We are hours away from the release of Season 5. The official time has finally been announced. Before now, we didn't exactly know the exact time the service was going down for the update, but we now have that information. Fortnite game tweeted out about a big patch coming. And when Fortnite tweets out about a big patch, they probably mean a huge patch, which means a lot of changes and new things added. I think we can all guess as to what that's going to be. That's going to be some massive map changes. I know there's been a lot of cringy clickbait at the moment with heaps of lies and like leaked map images. Nobody knows what it's going to look like. Just like last season and the whole tilt the towers, the entire thing getting destroyed, which never actually happened. The same thing again, a lot of false information floating around, but we're only hours away from finding out for sure ourselves and seeing it. The exact downtime for Season 5 begins at 4am ET tomorrow. Now if you're unsure about what time that is in your time zone, you can just google 4am ET time and it'll tell you what time it is in your time zone. Or just the easier option is, have the notification bell on, because I will be going live on YouTube the second Season 5 drops and bringing you guys the latest and the greatest Season 5. I am super excited for it. I have no idea what to expect. I've got some like hints and like some ideas of what it's going to be. It definitely looks like we are going back in time for Season 5. Like with all the hints we've seen, the big crack in the sky, the random stuff that have been popping up around the map and the images they've released, it looks like we're going to be going back into different periods of time. So different areas of the map may be in different periods, like ancient Egypt in one part, pirates in another, possibly like it's all pretty crazy. Nobody knows. It's the best thing. All these leaks and a lot of clickbait crappy content that's been going out lately has everybody talking about it and everybody wondering. Same as last time, nobody actually knows, so I'm super excited for this update. A few things that I want to see in Season 5, though. Because I did a thing the other day where I asked my chat when I was live, what was your favorite Fortnite season? Literally nobody said Season 4. Does that mean Season 4 was terrible? No. But with a lot of n nerfs to different stuff like material, Season 4 I don't think was anybody in particular's favorite season, unless they're brand new to Fortnite. Like, let's be honest, Season 2 was the best season, don't at me. But, <laughs> but anyway, what I want to see in Season 5 of Fortnite is no more nerfs to materials. Explosives are freaking overpowered at the moment. In my opinion, the RPG being able to destroy everything is too OP. I would like to see that scaled back, but the main thing I want in Season 5, I want Dusty Depot back. Screw Dusty Divot, screw the hole in the map. I want Dusty Depot back, and I want the factories to return that was next to Dusty Depot. If you guys remember the factories and remember Dusty Depot, surely you agree with me on this one. We want Dusty Depot back through the hole in the ground. I expect map changes, so like, I have no idea. Maybe, maybe Dusty Depot is going to be like goddamn ancient Egypt, and there's going to be pyramids there instead. Nobody knows. Massive update coming. Downtime will probably be for like a couple of hours, but I'll be live the second the servers go back up and we can all play. Hopefully the servers don't crash. I'm super excited for this update. A few other things I'd like to see in Season 5. What I want to see in Season 5 is some freaking amazing Battle Pass skins. I actually like what they did with the Season 4 Battle Pass skins, where some of them, the level that you increase to brought different armor and different upgrades to the skin itself. Like the Omega, the base version of it didn't look that cool, but a max level 80 Omega looks insane and really friggin' cool. So I'm hoping they bring back that idea to the Battle Pass skin. So you can also tell that way, if someone buys the whole Battle Pass, and actually isn't a higher level and they're running the Omega, you could tell a noob Omega versus a sweaty nerd Omega that was like level 80. Like, I think that was a really good idea and I want to see that returning. I have no idea what the max skin's going to be. Yes, there's a lot of content that's gone out with clickbait leaked. Oh my god, never ever seen before inside of Fortnite skins. But nobody knows what the max battle pass skin is. All the videos that have been made on it have been clickbait and absolute crap. Nobody knows. Like, I remember Ali A last season doing a Superman or something for the maximum battle pass skin. Never ever seen before. Season 4 skins. And obviously we got the Omega. There wasn't no Superman. There wasn't no Batman final skins. A lot of crappy clickbait lying content at the moment. I'm just hoping the skins are dope. We're going to find out. They're going to be in this update. That's why there's no leaks for the skins because they're not actually in the game yet. When this update drops tomorrow, that's when all the skins, that's when all the updates are coming out. I'm excited. Fortnite, please. 
for the love of God. Don't mess with our materials. So that's all I freaking ask. And season five should be a freaking blast. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit smack that like button. And dude, that trick shot at the end. I tried, guys. I tried for the trick shot. I wanted to finish this video with a trick shot. But the freaking guy died in the store. What do you mean? Anyway, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Drop a like. Let me know what your favorite season was in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys tonight in the live stream. If you got that notification bell on. Peace out, bros.